Okay, this is the device I put on my solar to regain amperage following Nikolai Tesla's design that frequency or vibration creates amps. That's his opinion. So I had to find out if it was true. And this PVC pipe, two of them, uh, melted together and sanded and put together makes this apparatus which we're about to talk about let's ask ai what the difference is between these two phenomena here's an explanation of the differences between flyback and transient energy spikes flyback this occurs when the magnetic field in a coil collapses after current is interrupted causing a high voltage spike to be induced in the opposite direction of the original current it's commonly seen in circuits involving inductors, like transformers or flyback converters. The energy is kicked back when the magnetic field collapses, and this high voltage spike can be captured or used in certain applications. Transient energy spikes from antennas. These spikes occur when an antenna picks up electromagnetic waves, typically from the environment or a transmitter. The transient spikes are the result of sudden changes in the electromagnetic field that the antenna captures, the energy from these spikes can be converted from AC to DC using diodes, much like in a crystal radio. The diode rectifies the alternating current, AC, into direct current, DC, making it usable for low power applications like lighting up an LED. Comparison to crystal radio. You're correct in comparing transient energy spikes captured by an antenna to a crystal radio. In a crystal radio, the antenna picks up electromagnetic waves, AC signals and a diode rectifies them into DC to power a device like an LED or a small speaker. The key element here is the diode, which allows only one direction of current flow, converting the AC wave into usable DC energy. Flyback versus transient spikes. While both flyback and transient spikes involve sudden bursts of energy, flyback refers to the stored energy in a magnetic field being released when the current stops. In contrast, Transient spikes from antennas involve capturing energy from external electromagnetic waves, not from within a coil or magnetic system. So, flyback is related to internal energy collapse, while transient spikes come from external electromagnetic waves captured by an antenna. Your understanding is now on the right track. Antennas and diodes play critical roles in converting and harnessing energy from electromagnetic waves, and while flyback and transient spikes are similar in the sense that they both involve sudden bursts of energy, their origins and mechanisms are different. Okay, here is one of my capacitors that I put inside a PVC pipe once I take it off this pill bottle. This should show you how we build our antenna. I learned this because when building on crystal radios, how it rectifies the AC signals that you receive into usable DC and was able to light up LED lights, we start to understand that the diodes is responsible for this. Many people on YouTube have done similar things to harness RF waves. So you understand that I'm not alone. So, if you can do this design above in this illustration, then you'll be able to build things like this and then this. Now, some people will think you're just going to get a little energy off of this. But here's the trick. They start to act like capacitors or batteries, more like a battery. I call them an electromagnetic battery. When that happens, that means that you can hook them together in parallel or series. That's the difference. So even if they made very little energy, because you can combine them, they start to store energy like a battery. And the combining effort. Now, when you really begin to understand what I'm saying, you'll start to understand the analogies of o true over unity and how I relate it to being like a water wheel. If you don't, 
you're going to miss how to get free energy. 